Hello, it is Fishbow Geek, and I'm uh, back with Karas, the Inquisitor. Uh, we are now the Inquisitor, so I can actually say that instead of Erswell would be Inquisitor. And uh, yes, um, I am trying a new method of recording my uh, my dialogue today, uh, because even, despite getting a new microphone, which I really like the new microphone, so it is good, um, I'm still getting all that like weird noise and interference. So I've come to the conclusion it might not be the actual microphone, it might just be the way I was recording. So we're trying a new system, uh, and fingers crossed it's not going to be total ass. Now, um, we've spoken to quite a lot of people, but we do still need to speak to some more. So, oh, Maneve. I don't think we spoke to you earlier, did we? Well, I'm going to speak to you now anyway, so let's just get started, and then uh, we'll continue exploring Skyhold. Thank you for saving my life, and giving us a chance to help. I'm mostly studying now, but Helisma can talk to you. Ah, right, so yeah, it's literally just Helisma, right. We've already spoken to Sarah, we've already spoken to Vivienne. Uh, Lisette wasn't somebody we were all that interested in in the first place. Black Blackwall we've had a conversation oh, yeah. with. Had a conversation with you. Ah, hello, Flissa. It's you. Your worship, I'm serving now, in a different way. <laughs> um, I kind of hope that means that you're still going to be the barmaid when we reopen that. Right. And uh, now we've got to find... That's just the surgeon. We've spoken to Colin. Where's the bit where you can, uh... Where you can track coal? She should, should pop up around here. Or was it on the stairs? Ah, look for coal. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. And what will its help cost? How many lives will this demon later claim? In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. <laughs> That's a bit disconcerting given how much taller we are. It's a great shot of his chest though. Um that's that's quite funny. Uh yeah, we're not gonna we, we don't need to know more about possession. I'm not getting rid of him. He's not very useful, but I'll talk to him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Oh, what? Why are we getting the chest shot? So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every oh, that's a great slower, answer. Like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone.
cracked brown pain. Dry, scraping, thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. Any chance you can explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Uh... Hours to die in agony? I'd want somebody to end my pain. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. That's, I mean, that's a tough call. I'm, I'm not entirely pers uh, persuaded that that was the right one. But I think it was. Alright, yeah, 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 okay, so we can't go down there just yet, we've spoken to Cole, uh, we've spoken to Colin, don't need to know about the surgeon, is there anything to find just yet? No, nothing. Okay, so we've got a couple more things to do, I know we still have to talk to the ambassador, uh, she is cool. But if I keep looking around, I'm sure, reasonably certain, um, oh, maybe it's not around here yet. Okay, this could be somebody's bedroom. Ah, right, it's up here. Uh, yeah, let's go and, uh, let's go and talk to Varric and meet his friend. Um, I think I'll, I think if I just import the default, I think they're still, they've still got that bug where you can't uh, import your custom champion of cardboard. Ah, so it's just recreate, so no, we'll just, we'll just do default champion of cardboard. Looking badass in the champion gear. Hawk, the champion of Kirkwa. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. Uh, maybe I should have just imported, because that's not my Hawk. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? I am a horde of rampaging Kunari. <laughs> Sorry, then. What can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. 
If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible, but we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Ooh, uh... Yeah. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My sister's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take her as far from Orlea as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. But hopefully not too much fun. <laughs> I'm sure there was a line about a giant hat and that she's now a pirate queen or something like that, or an admiral. I, I can't remember where we get that line, but that's quite funny. Um, you said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's old to Vinter magic, but he was dead, I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up and the exalted march never came. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was. Fanatical dick. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. In fairness, Anders, when we first meet him for the first time in the Origins expansion, I forget exactly what it's called. He was great. He was funny. He was charming. He was light-hearted. He still believed in uh, freedom and all that law. But it was when he let a spirit possess him, and that spirit of justice, who was a somewhat dull character, but kind of cool, when they became Anders and Vengeance, he turned into a fanatical dick. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Excellent. So there we go. We've got the next part opened up. Um, can I jump? There is no fall damage in Skyrim, which is uh, in Skyhold, I should say. What's the jump button? There, there it is. And it's just a great way to get around is just jump everywhere. Okay. Uh, if I speak to you now, do we have another conversation? Yeah, yeah, we do. You knew where Hawk was <laughs> all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit! You kidnapped me! You interrogated me! What did you expect? I, I do have to agree. Um, do I stay out of it or do I intervene? Oh, I can, I can never tell. Hey, enough! You're taking his side? 
I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... Varric's not at fault. This is just grief, I think. Uh, and really, Cassandra, can you blame him? He did kidnap him and we'll say interrogate. Um, so it's not, it's not that, it's not that, right. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept what? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he, that he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Uh, that is unfair. Uh, she's entitled to her feelings. I that that's a, that's a slam on Varric. I like Varric. Um, that's unworthy of you. Yeah, I knew that would happen. So what? You you'll you'll approve of me I later, Sandra. I must not Sandra, think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. If Hawk had been at the Conclave, she'd have died with everyone else. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if you hadn't believed him and you tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. She supported the Mage Rebellion after all. She wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. You're too hard on yourself, Cassandra. Not hard enough, I think. You can't believe that. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Yikes. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, we've had that fun interaction. Um, is there anything in here yet? Oh, no, this is literally just where she's going to stay later. It's all a bit weird, like, when your very first visit. Um, uh, I think with it being closed off that way, the only way to get to the blacksmith is down this way. What Ooh, do they storage. make down here? What can I make? Do I have anything that goes in storage? Um... I'll check all that off screen and figure out my inventory later. That's fine. Um, special shipments, yes. Let's see if there's anything in there. 
going to guess there is not. Uh, where's the... Where's the Golden Nug statue? I mean, I'm not going to select it because I don't want to... That's weird. I mean... I did drop connection with the internet, actually, so... Is that why it's not showing to... I mean... That's where the Golden Nug statue should be, and I'm not going to select it because it would, like, copy everything over and I wouldn't get to discover them for, for the first time in this playthrough, but it's not even there. What else is not here in my game? That's honestly annoying. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, you'll be all right. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. Do you think it's strange to say? It's stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. We need you level. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family Ammer. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. But ever forward. Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Shame about a darn. Experience like that, you can't just find. Argued a lot with Trent. I'll miss that. The rest of us go on. It's what we have to do. You gave us the chance. Thanks for that. Hang on, did I not save those two? Where was the bit to save a dam? Oh. I guess I didn't. I thought I... I mean, I didn't care about Thren. Thren was a, a nasty piece of work. Um, but... When did I miss the opportunity to save a dam? Whoopsie. You've got it all up and running? Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Excellent. Okay, so that's just your armor crafting. Armor tinting! So, even after, it doesn't really matter what I uh, create people's armor with, I can still tint it to something that's hopefully not terrible. Potions, upgrade potions, skyhold, customization. I don't know if I anything yet. I don't think I've actually bought anything yet. Ooh. Oh, these are all unlocked. Why are they all unlocked? I certainly haven't done the missions missions for it yet. Um. Hmm. Shall we, shall we just stick with the Inquisition ones? Don't want to watch this for all day. Could do Dalish. We could do, but Parvolan looks kind of cool. We'll stick to Parvolan for now. Ah, yeah, this lot's. Oh, that must have been unlocked. So I must have them because I've got the DLC. So that's, at least it's acknowledging that I've got the DLC. Don't know why it doesn't have the Golden Nug statue, though. That's frustrating. Let's let's just embrace our uh Ooh. Hmm. I quite like the look of dragon actually. Hmm. Oh, there is actually an unknown in here. That's interesting. Okay, quite like the look of that. I 
I get unbelievably attached to stuff like this. Now, I don't mind the Inquisition throne. Legacy for Elden is cool. Really like Legacy Kirkwall. <laughs> should I go? Should I just like go Quinari? I mean, we've got quite a few Quinari things in there already. I really like the Legacy. I really like that as well, actually. Let's go for Legacy for Elden. We can change it up later. Ah, so it already is for Elden. Oh, that was quite nice, actually. Alright. Craft weapons, craft armor, great potions, blah blah blah. Alright, so I'm slightly confused about the uh, the lack of the nug, but we'll just live with that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, now let's go and have a wee chat um, with our favorite ambassador. In fact, is the door to the garden open yet? Because I'd quite like to start planting some of that stuff. Oh, look, it's all changed already. Um, oh, it looks... It actually looks a little bit dull, but, you know, we'll live with it. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, <laughs> All right. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus's attack on Haven. Do you know who first leapt to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first burst of fire. So many people turned to ash. Uh, no, we're not going to be aggressive. Does it haunt me? I wish we'd save more lives. I do wish we'd save more lives. I'm genuinely upset that I didn't manage to rescue at least a Dan. I thought I had. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm Inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor, especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage as Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Okay, um, right, so is it, is it literally just, right, 
can I get into the garden and plant stuff first? Let, let's just quickly do that before I go and take a wee stroll into the war room. The garden should be open. Oh no, it's not. It is in fact completely blocked. Well, fine. Do I have to go away and come back and then? Then I'll have some interesting uh, stuff unlocked at Skyhold. Okay, um, <laughs> right, tempting. Nobody cares about all that. I kind of, no, well, I mean, yes, I wouldn't mind that. I also wouldn't mind that. And I wouldn't mind that. Nope, sorry, I had to do it, I had to do it. The quicker you get it, the easier it is. Uh, right, so that was all the perks I had. Okay, what did I have open? Oh, look at everything I can do on the map. All right, uh, oh, ally from Starkhaven, report ready. I look forward to future collaboration with the Inquisition. Please accept this gift from the Vale family's coffers. May it be put forward to relief efforts in Haven. In Andraste's love, Prince Sebastian. Thanks for the gold, I guess. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know where to start with all this. I mean, I am actually tempted to. Can you arrange to do... what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. Yeah, I, I am tempted to uh, go ahead and start investigating the shards, actually. So many things to do. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! A disaster of the deep roads. Uh, it's, it's quite tough, so we might save that a little bit. Um, ah, yes, resources now. Reclaiming the mage rebellion. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, Fiona. We got the word out to everyone we could, but some cells were too remote to reach. We'll need the Inquisition to contact them, at least to let them know the Templars are gone. They are gone, right? Right? Sketch. Um, oh, that's probably the least lethal way. That strikes me as they could also accidentally pick a fight. Yeah, with the, with the mage, that, that strikes me as a sensible option. Okay, uh, oh, Frostbite Basin, that's fine. It's just resources, resources. Oh, conscript for the Inquisition. Uh, well, that settles it. We face a Darkspawn Magister who commands something that looks suspiciously like an Archdemon. I defy anyone to tell me that this is no blight. We have Blackwall's treaties and we have cause. Thetis will require a little persuasion. Ooh, um... At your service. Yeah, we'll do that. Now I need to find something for Cullen to do. Ah! Right, that's probably a Leliana mission. That's probably a uh, Josephine. Ah, acquire the Arcanist. Oh yay, the Arcanist! Um, that's an immediate one. Okay. Uh, I want something that strikes me as a, a Cullen Central type thing. Ooh, Memorial for Haven. 
Ambassador Montelier. Although we have not always seen eye to eye, I believe that on this subject we will be in perfect agreement. I would like to build a monument at the site where Haven stood as a memorial to all those who gave their lives defending the faith. Shall we work together to honour these fallen heroes of Madame Ambassador, the Marquis d'Aurelion? Ah, well, I mean, that's, that's fundraising and representative for the ribbon cutting. To work? But Colin can do that as well. That's fine. Right, everybody's engaged. Let's go and meet our, uh, our arcanist. Our arcanist. Let's go. I was going to say, Colin can't be ready to go, but no, that's that's just the arcanist thing, isn't it? Right, back to the Undercroft. This is where we get access to some cool stuff. Inquisitor? The arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. Looks pretty cool, if a bit weird. Hello there. <laughs> that little way. Let's figure out what you need. It's Dagna. Or the magical advisor. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. And Breach was pretty too. In a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> I welcome you to the Inquisition and look forward to your contribution. Me too. I've heard some impossible things. I love impossible things. Those are the best to make, well, possible. I've looked at Herod's devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Almost safely? <laughs> what is it you do exactly? I was born to the forge. That's literal in this mythcast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other, but I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. <laughs> What's the story with enchanting? Lyria is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing they mages absolutely can't do. do. Drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really do a course, lot of masterwork stuff. Made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. Oh, that's 
the sea. Have Harrick create a masterwork or have an item enchanted? Now, do I have anything that I currently want? Uh, enchanted. I'm not sure. Would it be... No, it's not in there. Where's the room crafting stuff? Oh, there's the runes. It's in weapon crafting. Okay. Right. I need rune stones and a lot of... Pretty much all I can do is corrupting. But that's okay, because we'll be get Ah! Corpse hearts. Yeah, but we'll start... We'll now start picking up more of this stuff, and we've already picked up some of the other stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we'll need to pick up rune stones from... Probably, probably here. Oh, valuables. Schematics, crafting? No, okay, so I can't even buy runestones from here. But that's fine, we'll get to that later. Um, certainly once the whole of the castle's been unlocked and we can wander around everything fully but that's it that is our great uh introduction so it's after the fight of haven um we've been driven out i thought we'd rescued everybody but apparently not didn't even realize until it just got confirmed i think i have my suspicions but we'll leave it there uh oh can i actually access my bedroom oh no it's not even open right, and then because once i've done that i'll be able to choose something other than these horrible this horrible drab outfit to run around Skyhold in. Um, I can't remember what we have access to from the beginning. I think it's everything, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. That is, uh, we've chatted to everybody. We've even caught up with Hawk and Dagna, who is like the best little old character to, to come back. Um, and it's great. She's just so upbeat, and it's, it's an absolute joy to have her in the game. And uh, yeah, so next time we will... Hmm. Shall we go to Crestwood or shall we investigate the shards? I feel like we might go and investigate the shards actually next, but we'll unlock all that next time, travel to there, and then hopefully when we come back from that place, because, you know, we'll be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, yeah, so hopefully, yeah, I think that's what we'll do next time. We'll investigate the shards, have a wee look around that area. Not too much of one, because like I said, there's a lot to see and do in this game. We've unlocked loads of things that we can do now on the map. Uh, Crestwood is one of them. Uh, I forget what that other one was called. Not the Northern Wastes, but maybe like the Far End. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll have a look at the map and we'll, we'll unlock some stuff. Also, I think now that we've reached Skyhold, we have access to the DLCs. So we could go and investigate the Frostback, um, Frostback Basin. Um, we could go um, go underground, uh, but that's hard. That's a tough DLC. I mean, you get some good rewards, but it's they make you work for it, man. I'm not looking forward to those fights. It's fa fascinating bit of DLC. Fascinating bit of lore. Love it. Love the story of it. Um, I might go and start doing the Frostback Basin because that place is huge, and if I can do a bit there, travel, travel about a bit. That might be one way to spread it about. Um, or I might leave the DLC till after the, the main game has been completed. I'm not sure. It can't, there's an argument to be made for that, actually. just Because that's obviously when the, the DLC was released. And I, I think there could be an argument to be made for... We've defeated Corypheus. Now let's go ahead and do the DLCs. I'll think about that and decide where they best slot into the game as such. Um... And obviously, there's the, uh, the the other DLC is uh, you can't do until the game has been completed. So that's that's by the by. Um, right, yeah. So that that's where we're at today. We've had a good long wander around. We know what. Yeah, we do know what we're going to do next. Um, although we are going to look at our other options. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed playing as ever. Um, we've had uh, yeah, we've had a great chat with Hawk. Um, who I kind of regret n not making my hawk, but neither here nor there. Um, and also, yeah, we got to meet Dagna again, so now we can start enchanting our gear. Um, it's all good fun and good times. So, 
Uh, I will see you next time for more adventures with Karas the Inquisitor. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta-ta for now.